It's time for the feast. That's what I heard yesterday when I was on my walk with God. And I have had two visions in the past two days about a literal feast. Like all of God's children sitting at a big long table and being served food. And in the one I had yesterday, he had pulled out my chair for me and sat me at this table. And there was this big elaborate place setting in front of me with all the details. And I was just sitting, waiting for the food to be served. He said, Caitlin, all of the goodness that you have experienced in your life up until this point has been breadcrumbs compared to what I have for you in this season. No more breadcrumbs. It is time to feast. Now, I know this word won't be for everyone, but I felt led to share because I felt like a lot of us have been walking through the same seasons lately. First, we had a season of heavy spiritual warfare. Then we walked into a season of rest. Then we walked into a season of depending on God for our daily bread. And now we're at the feast. But he said, Caitlin, in this season, I want you to make sure that you are in close communication with me and that you are making decisions with me because you're being elevated. You're being moved into a position of power. Your decisions will hold more weight now. And he said, just like a husband and wife would never make large life-altering decisions without each other. They talk about everything. I want you to talk about everything with me and I want us to make our decisions together. And then he gives me another vision of myself in a wedding dress. The visions have just been coming in waves lately. So I'm wearing this wedding dress and I have like a thick veil over my face like they used to do where you couldn't see through it. And I was walking down the aisle up to Jesus. And when I got to him, he lifted my veil, revealing my face. He kissed my hand and he turned me toward the crowd that was watching. And then he began to just show me off. I think that's what he's getting ready to do for a lot of us. He is getting ready to show us off. And by this point in the video, I'm pretty sure you know whether this word's for you or not. Because if it is, that means you've been walking through all the same things. You know in your spirit that he is ready to elevate you. You know that he is ready to set you up on a pedestal and give you high honor. We just have to remember where that honor comes from and that it's not for our glory, but for God's. So as you enter into this season, stick with him, stay close, make all of your decisions with him by your side and prepare for good news, my friends. Get ready to feast. By the way, if you're interested in diving deeper into subjects like this one, you probably want to check out my podcast. You can find it on my profile.